A lot of you thought I've been skipping videos. But I haven't been. On the fourth day, I released the fourth video, and on the fifth day, I released the fifth video. <laughs> But you are right that something has been up, and it's the labeling of the videos. After 1, 2, and 3, I jumped to 5, and then 8. Instead of using the counting numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, I decided to use the Fibonacci numbers, which a lot of you pointed out in yesterday's video. For those of you that don't know, the Fibonacci sequence is a sequence of numbers where each new term is generated by adding the two previous terms. It starts off typically with 0 and 1, and then it goes to 1, then 2, then 3, then 5, then 8, then 13, then 21, then 34, then 55, and so on. If we wanted to write a simple Python function to calculate the nth Fibonacci number recursively, it would actually be super easy. If we're looking to calculate the nth Fibonacci number and n is not 0 or 1, then we just add the n minus first Fibonacci number with the n minus second Fibonacci number at n equals 1, that's just 1, and at 0, it's just 0. To test our function, we could print out the first 30 Fibonacci numbers using the function we made, run that code, and indeed, there they are. Cool, so back to the original question. Why did I decide to label my videos with Fibonacci numbers? Well, I think there are really only two properties that are important for a sequence of numbers to have if we're going to use them to label videos. The first is that each number in the sequence is unique. That way, each video has its own unique label. And the second is that it's easy to tell the order that the videos come in. So I think an increasing sequence does the job perfectly for this. A sequence of numbers that meets these two criteria is called strictly monotonically increasing. And while the Fibonacci sequence is not that, notice how the number one repeats twice in the beginning of the sequence. I realized if we cut off the first zero and the one, then the sequence does the job. Yet that still leaves the question, why use the Fibonacci numbers when the counting numbers would do? the numbers that everyone else is already using. And that right there is exactly why I'm using the Fibonacci numbers, because no one else is using them. It's different and unconventional, and clearly, most of you noticed. By doing something different, I was able to gain your interest, keep you engaged the past few videos, and get you to write more comments on my videos, which I hope increases their ranking in the YouTube search algorithm. So my thought for today is a reminder for you to challenge conventions. Think about the ways that you can act differently with little to no added energy, yet may give you a significant benefit in the process. And with that, I'll see you tomorrow with another thought on Zuck That.